Let's use the flexi shape panel to create shamrocks for St. Patrick's Day. Start by selecting a heart from the flexi shapes. Draw your heart and right click, then convert it to path. I'll fill it with color so that you can see it better. Now double click on the heart to bring up the editing points. Next, click on the duplicate button at the top of the screen and make two copies. Rotate the bottom hearts like this. We'll go back to the flexi shapes to grab an arc. Use the red points and slider to manipulate the shape. Then convert to path. Adjust the arc until it looks like the stem of the shamrock. Select all of the pieces, right click, and then select Weld. This will join all of the different elements into one. Then double click on the shamrock and simplify the editing points. Draw another heart, but don't edit the bottom point. This will give the heart a slightly different shape. We'll fill it with a contrasting color. Duplicate the original shamrock, bring it onto the mat, right click, and send to the back. Make two copies of the heart and rotate like we did with the first one. Make sure that all of the bottom points are overlapping. Select the three hearts and weld. Double click on your new shape to bring up the editing points. Click on simplify, then you can zoom in to see if there are any points that need to be deleted or moved a bit. Place your new shape on top of the shamrock and center it. Then select both elements, open the modify panel, and click on subtract all. Move the three heart shape away. Now you can cut this as is or layer it on top of the original shamrock. Duplicate the original shamrock and grab another arc from the flexi shape panel. We're going to use the warp feature to modify this stem so that it fits inside of the original. Select the stem, then click on warp selected shapes. A grid will pop up and you can pull the orange boxes and the blue and red dots to change the shape until it fits inside of the original stem. When you have it set, go to the warp panel and click release warp. Bring the three heart design onto the shamrock. You may need to play with this a bit more so that it overlaps. You can also modify the three heart shape to get everything just right. Move the bottom shamrock out of the way, select all of the new elements, right click and weld. Then double click and simplify. You can layer this one as well. Make a copy of the original shamrock, bring it onto the mat and open the offset panel. Select internal offset, Adjust the distance and click Apply. Select the shamrock and the offset, right click 
then make a compound path. This will create an outline of the original shape. Now let's repeat this process, but this time we're going to increase the distance of the offset. This will give you a thicker outline. For the last modification, duplicate the original shamrock and bring it onto the mat. Double click to bring up the editing points. Now I moved the points of the shamrock leaves to give them a smoother shape, but you can play around with the points to make yours look however you want. Now that we have made some cool design elements, let's put them to use. While I'm rearranging my shamrocks, take a second to hit the like button if you've learned a new skill. Let's start with some text. Fill the text with color, then choose your fonts. I used two colors and two different fonts in this design. Now the second tab of the textile panel is where you'll find your glyphs. I added a swoosh to the O, the L, and the Y. The font that I used was very thin, so I decided to create an offset. This will make it easier to work with. I'm going to add this shamrock to the middle of the two words. And the L isn't quite right, so I'll use the warp feature again. When the lines match up, you can release the warp. Now you want to select all of that and weld. I'm going to use the knockout method in this design because I want to use glitter for the word mama and you can't layer on top of glitter HTV. And to do this, I'll create an offset around one lucky and then subtract from the modify panel. This is going to create a lot of little pieces. You'll want to group them all together so that they don't move around on you. I'm going to put the design together and group before I resize it so that all of the elements stay at the right scale. I'll scatter some shamrocks throughout the design. It's too cute. So play around some more with flexi shapes and let me know what you come up with.